top of the time zone we are back everybody with some more pga tour 2k23 action we're back playing the my career here at the corn ferry tour about to do our second round at the summit championship we're about to be underway in a matter of moments hopefully y'all having a good day so far if y'all like this kind of content make sure you like comment and subscribe because we're going to be doing some more golf more nascar more sports so make sure you go ahead and do that all right so here we go tpc scottsdale we're going to look at the settings now you know full course high winds today headed west gonna be some crowds out there i don't know what time it's gonna be but i don't think it matters i'm just ready to improve from what we had last time which i don't even remember what was not even my score but how we did last time simply because i forgot it's been so long and i've been really focused on the tgc tours which by the way if you haven't seen we're actually in the cck we finally made it after a couple of tries but we made it first tournament we played we missed the cut by a stroke but we did a personal best honestly i think we made several birdies and on top of that we finished around under par I'm really happy about that. I was really happy about that. I, I, again, of course, it sucks that we didn't make the cut, but honestly, that props to me for uh, getting locked in. So here we are at the first 417 yards. We're actually tied for fourth with one over. That one's going to be a good swing. The wind is going to help carry this one on the fairway. We're going to see about 320-something yards. How about 30-something? How about 40-something? Just a bit shy of it. And now here comes our second shot. This is an 82-yard shot here. It's going left or right. I'm not sure how to play this one. I think that's going to be safe. A little bit wide to the right, but let's see if there's any spin. All right, well, there wasn't any, but we have a 19-foot putt for birdie. At least get this one close. We're also playing on master settings because uh, I want to get used to how the TZ Tour plays. It's master settings, so that's something different from last time. I think last time we were on pro. You can see the bar and everything. Now it's more of a field game now. And that one immediately turned left, so... Message sent. Alright, nine feet for par. Gets it done barely. Still tied for fourth. Now we head on to the second here. With our gold driver. We'd love to see it. Alright, when is going to cause some resistance on this hole? 440 yards, and this is going to play a lot longer once this one uh, drags this one uh, back away. We're going to aim at the bunker here because that wind I do not trust. That might actually not apply. All right. Duly noted. Now, this time we're going to club up tremendously here, going with a six iron instead of the normal eight. Really trying to get some of those yards back. That's a perfect. That one might creep on the green. I did say creep because that is nowhere near the hole. I believe that is about 30, 40 feet. 
But at least we're putting. At least have the ability to to stop it close by. Yeah, this one's 43 feet. Downhill, right to left. And the speed is definitely going to be a factor. Especially right at the beginning. That's tracking well. I think it may be too wide still. Oh, just, just a foot off. Okay, that is not something to shake a stick at. Like, I wouldn't be beat up myself for that. We get the par. Back-to-back -back pars to start off this round. So here we are to the third, a par five, our first one featuring the island green back there. We've always been having troubles with this. Time to see if we can uh, fix it here. Perfect. Also like how the sun glare made my pants purple, but I don't like how that wind pushed this one to the rough. And the thick stuff too, this one may not be layupable. I know that's not a word, but honestly, that's how I feel right now. I'm going to try to get this as close as I can. I actually had that one slip off my finger for a bit, but I'm glad that it's still on the fairway. I'm glad it ended up still ended up being a good shot. That is still a two-tiered green that we're having to face off. And the hole is right on the top of it. So I'm going to have to push this one up there. But the question is... see, You just have to be careful because if you don't hit this one right, you're, you're in for a treat because this one is going to be a hard putt for birdie. I think that will be if it rolled down. Oh no. If it had rolled down, if it would have kicked down, it would have been okay. But since it's not, you have to be absolutely on edge right now. You need this thing to stop immediately. That actually might do it. That actually might do it. Nice execution despite missing the tempo on that. They keep your par. And here we are with a seven iron with 183 yards and a big win. Let's see if the win actually plays true here. Oh, that sounded good off the tee. However, I feel like the wind is not doing it justice. It got on the green. But it was wide right from where we aimed at. Now, this is 26 feet, our lucky number here. Let's see if you can drop it in. That's hunting. Drops it in. Our first birdie of the night. We're going to get a replay here from the Summit Challenge. Our first birdie putt coming from 26 feet out. Read that right to left nicely. Forgive me also if I'm a bit distracted. I believe SummerSlam is actually on right now. 
while I'm recording this. I uh, want to know y'all thoughts about if, if y'all seeing this after Slumber Slam, let me know what your thoughts about it. What were your predictions and uh, what end up actually happening? Me, uh, I've been kind of digging Cody Rhodes right now. I just feel like Solo hasn't won enough to actually clinch a title. He hasn't won a tag team, hasn't won a Intercontinental, hasn't won a U.S. Championship. It's kind of weird to see him go straight for the world title. This one's going into the bunker again. The win, my goodness. And this one's 202 yards. Again, the win playing a force to be reckoned with here. Going with a three iron. I don't think the hybrid might have to be the best option right now. And he did not hit the best shot. This is going to go bunker to bunker. This is 27 yards out. Wind's not the factor here. The factor is just trying to get this thing right on the target oh my goodness that's too far of a putt to have a high chance for birdie again another 26 footer this one looks like it could be straight in with how much it's turning both ways and he called it <laughs> What amazing skill right there to trust the club head. Because at that point, either you trust yourself and you trust your putter to just aim straight in. Now currently tied for third now with that even par. I didn't even realize we were we had a birdie somewhere. Alright, so this win is actually playing uh hard to please right now. So it looks like we're gonna have to aim for this bunker and hopefully it doesn't go into the other one. Well, that's not gonna help. Cart path? Not in a bush. Man, that really hit a bush right there. Alright, time to clutch up. Going with a 5-iron. This is... This may be a little bit of sec, uh, uh, excessive. But if it gets the job done, like it's going to do right here, walks onto the green... Honestly, that has to be a good call. Now, probably next time, if we were in that same situation, I would have probably uh, aimed it a little bit more closer to the hole. But at the same time, there's like a bunker right there. So I don't think that we would have had enough bounce. All right, so here we go. Now, this time it is 29 feet. I don't think we got all of it. Choked at the last second, but uh, it makes for a good second putt here. And honestly, I'm okay with it because I don't want the next putt. If I were to go over, that's a whole... Like I was saying into my other video, 
it would go over and then now you have a new lie to look at you have to have a new strategy instead of looking at your first putt you leave it short okay you can access what happened and realize okay this is how much left i have to putt now because if it's if it's pretty much straight on or anything close to that you can understand what happened and then be like okay it's playing like this right here so now that i'm here and maybe I look at the putt in two parts, like from halfway and then from the next five feet. And then here you go. And you see it. It's like, okay, yeah. Um, it's going to be one of those putts where you have to either correct it on the, you know, the next mistake or that's it. Hopefully that's understandable. Like it makes sense in my head. And that one's a perfect, but that one is going directly into the bunker, despite how far left we kept it. Oh, well, I wouldn't say in a bunker, but watch your toes. It flew over the bunker, so that was good. Now let's see if we can put some spin on it to get this one as close as we need to. Didn't get a lot of it. So, pretend that chip was actually a putt. All right. So, what ended up happening was this. I saw that it was turning right to left up here. That's pretty much where I wanted the landing spot to be. So, I was anticipating that. So, then, what I did was okay i hit the ball and it got to here it got to this point so now i understood i understood that it was going to roll right to left from here so i that's why i don't have to consider i don't have to overthink this putt because i saw how it was playing out from once it hit the ground again and started to roll now this is an eight foot putt Hopefully we make this one so I don't embarrass myself after that great speech. Big sigh of relief right there. And here we are at the 8th. No, he's going to do something different here. The wind is going 11 miles northwest towards those bunkers. He's going to put a fade on it, hoping that will it, hoping that it will counter react to the wind and try to keep it straight. Well, so far it's working. Not a lot of turn from the wind because the draw kind of made it fight We're on the fairway for the first time in a bit 305 yards on that drive 185 left to go now this one is going all left here the lie is the ball is higher than the feet the winds northwest towards the crowd let's see how he fights this one that's a perfect i think yeah the wind got too much of that it was really trying its hardest to to turn but it, it just couldn't now this is a 38 foot putt this is a probably one of the longest putts of the day That one's tracking very well. It's just going to miss to the right of the hole and a little bit over. But luckily, it wasn't too far enough to 
think this one out. Nicely done to remain at even par for the day. Or for the day, rather the tournament. That one birdie holding us strong. Now we're finally at the ninth. Again, the win being a factor. We're going to try another fade here. That one's actually fighting the wind this time. Even though the wind pushed it back to the left, it fought for a great start to turn right. And now facing with a tough task here. Gap wedge won't get you there. Pitching wedge might be the way to go as long as you don't I'm gonna risk it right of the the cup with a draw. That's a perfect that might actually play a little bit. What a shot. That was an excellent strategy. Now this is a nine foot putt turning to the left for birdie. And there we go. Our second birdie of the day, leaving us one under for the tournament after 27. This is good for the mental right now. This is very good for the mental. We're looking at our shots, assessing them, and realizing, hey, we're doing a great job. Uh, now, he's going crazy on this one. Aiming for the cart path. Well, he does have that, I guess it was the practice green of some sort right here. Let's see how this plays. I'm curious. Well, it's not going to land on a cart path. But it's going to land right here. <laughs> That's rolling. We're actually on the green right here. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of disrespectful. I think it's just a practice green, so it's not too much, but still. That one's up in the air. It's going to land the distance of the hole, but not actually towards the hole. 26 feet yet again. It's been holding it out pretty well from here. Good pace. Not quite. Just missed it by a hair. Oh, well, so much for the break on that one as we're going to reach our first bogey of the day. So I'm looking at some of the highlights of... Uh, the flashbacks of the 
recent SmackDown and Raw moments. And Seth, you know, is mad at CM Punk for screwing him over the title. That in reality isn't necessarily his fault because if he would have just got up instead of Damian Priest, it would have been a whole nother story. CM was not after Seth at all. Seth just didn't get up in time. That's all on, that's definitely all on Seth. He can't be mad because he didn't get up in time. Had you gotten up, you would have been definitely there. And as as now I'm a bit distracted, as I was a bit distracted here, um, we're dealing with, and this is a par four too, so like I, I, I don't get a bailout here. I wouldn't be surprised that this, well, like, listen, it had every way to turn. And we're going to go back to back bogeys here, unless we're able to hole out. But, and this is all on me too. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be mad at myself. I put myself here with that bad tee shot. At least that shot was clean. Too much roll. So now we might be facing double bogey if we don't hit this 28 footer. And that's a tough break. Now it's 10 feet. I do want to mention the cut line is at 13 over right now as we drop back two strokes. Daniel Wellard currently one over. We was tied for the lead at one point, it looked like. And now here we are at the 12th. see if I can eat this one. Ooh. I was really trying to hit a low drive there, but unfortunately could not get it done. Let's see how he makes up for it. Playing this shot with a lob wedge. That one's a bit slow and... I think that backs, well, it's going to be moving. I don't know if it got closer, but this is 22 feet. This one doesn't look like it's going to move much. That's going to be close. That's a shocker. And here we are at the 13th. This is a good spot for us to catch up and get a par five. I mean, this is our par five. So let's go ahead and take this chance to 
get some ground, especially with the wind finally in our favor for once. However, uh, we did uh, not get the best swing. So if this lands in the bunker, we're... I wouldn't say the bunker. It's in the, it's in the rough, right under a tree. Well, you have the option to go for it. Question is, do you want to take that risk? As long as it gets to 100 yards, I think we'll be fine. But it didn't. And so, yeah, it looks like a, a poor temp right there. Hopefully, you can fix it on this. I don't think that win is going to help. Oh, my goodness. How you want to play this one? 17 yards here. That's not the best approach in the sand if you want to hold it out I'm gonna have to do it right here that's the best approach you're gonna get from the sand cleans up the par Here we are, 468 yards on the 14th. That's a line drive, but I don't think this is going to make it to the fairway. A hundred and ninety three yards here. Going with the three hybrid now. And once again, we're playing rough golf. See how he manages to play this one. Terrible shot. You're asking me to chip it? You're out your mind, Caddy. Oh my goodness, we're just having a bad breakdown right now. Looking at double bogey. We went from leading to now a terrible back nine 
I don't think we've seen a single bogey treat us this badly since... Well, it's more than a single bogey, actually. This is like several. I haven't even seen a birdie on this back nine since the probably the 10th. Here's a par five. See if how that plays us. That's a perfect. Like, look how this wind is going to treat this thing. We was aiming at the cart path. And look how much it traveled away from that cart path. We're back on the fairway. Now, my question is, do you want to really go with the three wood right here? I think no matter what, this is going to be a nasty shot. You need this to be at least a fast. I think that is manageable. I think this one's going to be on the green. I think it's going to roll. It's just a matter of how far and if it's going to come back down. Which it's looking like it might roll off, actually. That attempt was not bad. Like... Had it stayed up, it would have been tremendous, but because it didn't, well, you know the rest. That is going to be a two-foot putt for birdie, and now we're back on track. now how do you want to play this one a nice comfortable nine iron cannot help you here we're gonna to have to go with the eight that's a bit slow but I like how it's turning it didn't turn much, but we're on the green, and that's the first step. Second step is to put this one in for birdie, and oh, I don't like this look. 17 feet going left to right that fast. Yeah, good luck, buddy. That's going under the hole. I saw it as soon as it took off. Wow! Note to self, breaks from two feet don't actually break. Frustrating. We're still in the top ten, but it's very frustrating. Man. Now, this one is a drivable par 4 on the 17th here. If you could hit it right, of course. But, it, like, with the way this is looking, it could definitely fall off. It could definitely roll off. You, you gotta have a good drive here. That's a bit slow, but that win is gonna carry. Question is, is it gonna hop up enough? Oh... That did hop enough. We're on the green. Let's be real. We could have uh, hit it a little bit closer. But this is out. This is fine. This is simply fine. This is for Eagle, actually. So you want to focus. But I don't see a lot of movement here.
outside the left edge. That's on it. And we got an eagle. Bring us back to three over. And that move right there will bring us back within the top five. I mean, it's still a close round, still competitive. It's just that the way of it's been tough lately. Just bad tee shots, honestly. But here we are, 427 yards, win back on our side, hit a big one for me. That was not a big one. That is looking at the water. Well, well then, we're going to be crawling to this one, just to race our eagle, why don't you? you? You have to hold this one out at this point, you have to. Not with that swing. I like how it says 60 frames, but it feels like it's 15. All right, we're going to put this one right on the button. I'm not messing around with this. So much for right on the button. This is now for double bogey. That barely rolled in as we finished around four over to make it a total of five over for the tournament. We're going to make the cut, but we're still long ways away from the leader. We're currently seven strokes off from Brian Reese, the leader today for the Summit Championship. This is going to conclude our broadcast, our recording, our video. I appreciate everybody for coming out. If y'all like this content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. We'll see ya.